What's going on guys, Southeast Soft Wash. Today is Saturday the 29th of October and I've got a video for you guys today that I think most of my audience will really resonate with. Uh, if you've ever had something stolen from you, comment down below, I hate a thief. I can't stand a freaking thief. So about, let's see, about six weeks ago, we had a pressure washing trailer stolen. Uh, I'll put a picture of what, what was stolen right here. Now it wasn't a fully built out system. Uh, it was just a frame. So we buy these trailers in big stacks. We get them like 10 at a time. They bring them up to us uh, from the trailer manufacturer. They offload them and then we weld them up. We raptor line them and then we turn them into this. I'm gonna put a thumbnail here, a little clip right here uh, of what it will become once it's a finished out unit. Guys, if you don't know who we are, Southeast Softwash, we are the world's largest provider of turnkey systems for soft washing and pressure washing, stuff like that. So that's what we do. If you're interested in getting some equipment and hopefully yours doesn't get stolen, there'll be some links down below uh, to our equipment and other stuff as well. So check out the links down below. First pinned comment, uh, first in the description as well, take you over to the website. But anyway, six or seven weeks ago, um, we've got a building across town back that way and that's where they do all of our fab work and they do the rafter lining of the trailers there. So we weld up all this additional metal on the trailer, which provides our slots for our tanks to sit in, our ladder rack, all that stuff like that. Lots of guys have copied our trailer design. I don't care, it's a good design. It's a form of flattery, right? Copy, uh, imitations of the best form of flattery. So we have all that welding done and then you gotta do something with that or it's just gonna rust and so we actually bed line it's a spray on uh like line x it's very high quality bed liner and we coat the entire thing we coat the floor so this trailer was sitting at our fab shop now it's fenced in it's locked up there's cameras over there but you know meth head's gonna meth head so they stole a trailer they stole another enclosed trailer that was not ours from the same yard and come to find out so i don't know if you guys are aware i, I don't really talk about it a whole lot but i am a auxiliary officer and I'm pretty active with it. I go out several times a week and uh, usually go out at night and we try to do uh, narcotics interdiction and we look for stuff like that. So I enjoy it. It's really fun. It's a way to give back to the community and it's also something that's I like that whole tactical gun shoot. I like all that stuff anyway. So I go out two, three times a week and we have been looking for these dudes, um, not just our local PD, but the sheriff's department the counties around us, the police departments in those counties around us. It's a known thing that these guys were stealing trailers and they were stealing like little five by eights, any kind of trailer they could find, they were stealing them. So we had talked about putting a bait trailer out with a GPS tracker. Um, we didn't do that. And I, I didn't say anything on YouTube about it because I didn't want to really talk about it until we, we nailed them. But as of the other day, a couple days ago, looks like we caught them allegedly, right? They haven't gone to court. They've not been proven guilty yet um but pretty much looks like we got the guys that were doing it so what they were doing we live on the georgia alabama border they were going to georgia stealing trailers bringing them to alabama you know chopping them up and selling them and they were taking the ones they stole in alabama over to georgia and squirreling them away over there in the woods and doing the same thing so there were a ton of trailers stolen we will be prosecuting i i told my buddy i said hey i may not prosecute them if they'll agree to let me beat them with a wiffle ball bat for an hour and a half. I don't want to kill them. Stealing a trailer is not a death penalty kind of sentence, but uh, I feel like it would purge a lot of angst if I could just wiffle ball bat. You know, it's not, it, it'll still hurt a lot, especially if it's wintertime, it's cold. So yeah, they stole a trailer. We filed an insurance claim. We'll be getting reimbursed from that. So one of the guys in the queue that's waiting on a trailer gonna be a little bit delayed because it was stolen, right? And we, we, it didn't really matter. We had a big stack of them. so. Uh, the process is still flowing on our end. We just got to wait to get reimbursed from the insurance company for the theft because they did not recover our trailer. A bunch of them were, were recovered and uh, they're in the process of getting those back to the rightful owners. But ours was nowhere to be seen, unfortunately. So we'll just have to get refunded. So that was about a $3,000 worth of product trailer welding Raptor liner. It was ready to come to our shop and get built out as a, a turnkey system and it didn't get that far. So they, they picked it up, scooped it up, and they thought they had a better use for it than we did. So just wanted to give you guys an update. I thought it was cool that we caught them. We didn't catch them. It was a neighboring county uh, because you know what? Criminals are usually stupid. They're very, very stupid. So broad daylight, 
uh, we had several good camera shots of what the truck looked like. We kind of knew who we were looking for. Hope you guys are having a great weekend, man. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. We've got some big announcements coming out next week. I'll go ahead and uh, drop a hint. We released a little short video the other day of our batch buster valve. So we'll be talking about that some next week and giving you guys the skinny on that. Y'all have a terrific weekend, uh, Halloween weekend. Be safe, and uh, we'll talk to you guys next week. See ya.